myself. Yeah, of course. So I chose Aoni because it's all they're all natural notes. There's no there's no altered notes, right? Right. And then if you're doing it in the key of C, it would just be A B C uh, C D E F G A B C, right? Um, and then you can easily see which note is altered that way. So gotcha. if we're in A, A Ionian, the, uh, the altered notes are C, you have C sharp, you have F sharp, you have G sharp, right? So all of these other stuff, this, and this is the most common use, that's why. 80% of the music you play is just going to be straight Ionian, A Ionian, right? Now these other uh, modes or scales, they're different sounds, they're less common. That's why I put them after. And I also put it there because this is your starting point, okay? Everything is natural. In, ter in, in, in terms of just, there's no altered notes yet. It's just A Ionian, this is the scale, right? So oh, then you have these altered scales, these altered sounds. So I put A Ionian sharp five. Now, all that's, that's literally just telling you, you play A Ionian just as you did here. That's why you play this first. And then you sharp the five, you sharp the fifth note. That's the only difference to get this sound. So you're, you're going, you're reverting back to the, your original scale. That's why. So if I play A Ionian, I don't have to look at the sheet. I, if, if I just learn that, right, just memorize that. All I have to do now to play the harmonic minor, the Ionian sharp five, is just to sharp the five. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four. Instead of playing this, I'm going to play this. And now everything else remains the same. Numbers, that's why you had the numbers here too. Five, five, seven, seven, four, four, five, five, seven, eight. So that's right there. That's the difference. Four, and uh, I, I could put that as this as well. Should have done that. Four, four, six, six, seven, seven. So your only difference is this note right here. And it's only off by one, one half step, one note. There you go. And you, do, and you do the same thing. So what, you got that. Okay. Harmonic minor, done. Let's move on to harmonic major, right? So same thing. You're not reverting back to harmonic minor. You're reverting back to your original scale, your home, right? You're, re you're going back home. So you're gotcha. Aionian. Now you can do the same thing. Five, five, seven, seven, four, four, five, five, seven, seven. So that note now is the same between these two. Four, keep it the same. Four, right? But that's actually not a four, that's gonna be five this time. So four, five, six, six, seven, seven. So this is the note that's different. See now, from harmonic minor to harmonic major, it's pushed over. See that? It's only pushed over by a half step, by one interval. So that's how you can do the connection there. So now that I have those two, since those are so similar, the harmonic minor and harmonic major in relation to the regular Ionian, um, I would play these all back to back. Okay, so now I would play A Ionian, then I would play harmonic minor. And then I would play A Ionian again, and then I would play harmonic major. So I, this is how I would practice it. Harmonic minor. Six. And what you could also do is just accent that note that changes so you can really instill it, right? There you go. And now you go into Ionian flat three, Ionian. five minor G. Right. Yeah. And I would do the same thing, Aeonian. To that alter note as well from the beginning to get to really hear the, the difference. Harmonic minor, harmonic major. There you go. 
and then after that you can just play them down. I, I would do this as well. Just go from Ionian harmonic minor, harmonic major, melodic minor. All in one shot. Really good way to play without any breaks. It's a good way to, yeah, it's a good way to really uh, get it on your fingers. You know, mm. I want you, I want you to try that. Try so go A Ionian, then go to the harmonic minor. Go back to Ionian, go to harmonic major, back to Ionian, back to melodic minor, and then just read it down. You got it. It's been a while. That's okay, don't worry about the speed. Try it yeah. again. Try it again. So go all the way through, right? You're not, you're not going back. Just literally just going all the way through, right? Go all the way through because what you want to do is you want to integrate the sound, the original sound of the Ionian. And then right after that, so that it's fresh in your mind, when you hit that altered note, your brain is going to interpret it a lot better and it's going to give you the vibe and the feeling of that note. And now go back, I only chart five, right? Right. There you go, yeah. Go back. A, B, C sharp, D, E, G, A sharp. It's basically doing that right smoothly. There you go, exactly. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, it's humbling when you have to really slow down because it's like you get it, but it's a matter of like like doing the transitions, right? So, right. And you want to make sure you're hitting the right notes. Sorry, this, this one's actually wrong. That should be a three. That's my bad. F sharp, G sharp, A. Right. Now, harmonic major, that was wrong. So it's actually that. It'd be three. Yeah, so you have a bit of stretch. A, B, B, C sharp, D, E, F, G sharp, A. Yep, that's Ionia. Yeah. Good. Try harmonic major. Now that I just Herm changed it. A Ionian flat six har harmonic major. Right. Yeah. A B A, C sharp D E F. Uh, hit a G. <laughs> That's all right. Sharp. A B C sharp D E E F G sharp A. Yeah. B C. There you go. Yeah. Let's try last one. I only need to more like minor. Flat three. Yeah, and the magic is like I saw what you're doing is when you you're it's working it in and you're playing, right? Those transitions. So you have to get mechanics, right? Exactly. And you're training your fingers for the placement of each note so you don't get too confused. So that right. would be the next step is to memorize it, right? And then just memorize. You only have to memorize the one note from the original that you're changing. That that makes it so much easier. Um, and then that's why I write the the numbers here in the the um, accidental if it's sharp or flat. So you notice only harmonic minor has a sharp note. Harmonic major and melodic minor are, all, are both flat. Okay. Um, so you just got to remember what that is. So. Sharp, so if it's sharp, it's harmonic minor. Just remember that on its own because every mode is going to follow that as well. 
So if it has a sharp, whatever, Dorian sharp, whatever, it's going to be harmonic minor. If it's flat, flat, it could be harmonic major or melodic minor. Uh, sometimes you don't know until you play it, or unless you just memorize them, right? So um, now you would do that. Now you just look at your guitar while you're doing it, memorize the pattern. <laughs> I would play it backwards as well, but and then harmonic minor, so sharp five. So I'm going to do that from memory. Now I'm going to sharp the five. took a few combinations of the intervals between the altered and between the original just to play around with the melodies and you can really tell you can, it, it accentuates that note more just playing like three or four notes in succession right from the altered note sharp and then go back natural and just notice the difference and that would be really useful between harmonic minor and harmonic major because they're so damn similar, right? So I would do harmonic minor first in the same way and then harmonic major, so maybe I'd go harmonic major. If you can see this too, right? So I'm going to do the sharp five, no, I'm going to do harmonic major first for the flat six. Check this out. So it's sat, they're both, if you play them back to back, that's why it would be good to do that, especially with these two, because they're so similar. Just take those four notes that really accentuate the mode the most and see how it sounds. You can even start from the four, which would be another good one. So you would go. So the sharp five sounds like this. Harmonic major. Now you can really hear it that way. That's yeah, I'm trying to add some color here. You're making this interesting. Like, right. What what chords? You know. Yeah. What? Now we're getting somewhere. There you go. Down the yeah. rabbit hole. Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah, so like what chords would you sequence over these scales? That's gonna be our next that's that's the next step, right? So harmony. So yeah. A Ionium, what chord goes along with that? Uh, I mean you have B minor, you have C sharp minor seventh. Don't nope, nope, stay within the mode. So it's gotta okay. be A something. Oh and what do you like major? There you go. What kind of major? It can it could really be anything. Just give me one. Give me um. Give me the seventh chord that goes along with A Ionian. What seventh chord would you build off of that? The seventh chord would be. I mean, it's major, so it would be uh, G sharp. Uh, yeah, it's a. It's a. It's if it's major, it's have it's G sharp, uh, major seventh, or you can have a flat five, right? I, I, or one might think. Well. Like it's got to be A something because if we're an A Ionian, the chord has to start with A, so it's got to be based on A. So you're not going to go to G sharp, which would technically actually be G sharp half diminished, anyways, which is a totally different sound than what we're going for. Well, so you have the mode. Just, let me like share my thinking. Like A Ionian, I'm thinking. You're saying what is the? You said the seventh chord. What seventh chord do you play on top of that? Right. So I'm thinking. I'm literally thinking the A Ionian scale in front of me right now. Right, right, right. right. And A Ionian, you know, what comes before that would be Locrian, right? So I'm thinking, I'm thinking the scale on the notes, right? So before, um, before Ionian, you have Locrian, right? Right. And it's the seven to the eight, so it's G sharp. So I'm thinking G sharp. 
major, but no. like where's my where's my thinking off? If you have this, let, going me, back let, let me show you what you're thinking. You're overthinking. Yeah. You're overthinking it again. So you have a Ionian. Now, if I play a G sharp major, it would sound like this, right, over the scale. Sounds off, right? notes in the G sharp major except for G sharp is in the a Ionian scale. So you're right, you're th it would be G sharp Locrian. Right. That would be, yeah. but you're thinking modally. Right. You're going to a different mode. I want you to stay within the same mode. So if you have a Ionian, you, you can even look at, the, look at this, right? So how do you build a seventh chord from a scale? One, three, five, seven. Exactly, there you go. So you take the same thing here. Five, four, seven, and s uh, wait, five, four, seven, six. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, five, four, seven, six. Right? So it would be A major seven. And you can voice it however you want, it doesn't matter, but. Is the sound of so the mode me, now? Just because because I'm like going back to like learning here. That's okay. So I get that. I play you, now. You said play the, an A Ionian. We're thinking very simple here. We're thinking very yeah. simple. So like you just said, you build the the chord off the scale, right? The, in seven, you could even just do a triad. So A Ionian, Ion is major. So you could just yeah, play A major. Your seven. If you're thinking as simple as you can, it's an E major seven. A. Yeah, A B. Your seventh, that's what right, right, exactly. Yeah, or even just A major Google works as well. Right, that is the same thing. I like the I like adding the seventh because you can really hear the sound what the sound of the mode is really supposed to be. Same with Dorian. I mean, there with the with all the um, minor. You have Dorian, Aeolian, and even Phrygian. They're all minor. They can all be minor seventh chords in the key of C, right? So it doesn't matter. But what gives you, they all sound the same, so you're not getting the sound of the gotcha. mode it, from it's that. Like, it just click like right. Right. So you, so you would, That's where I was caught up in its mode. Right, thinking. right, right, right. So if, so just real quick with that, D minor, E minor, and A minor, they're all minor seven within the key of C, right? So to get the sound of each mode, you would find the note that is different between them. So for Dorian, you'd want the natural six. Instead of this, you get this. So that's Dorian. For the next one, E minor, we have Phrygian, so you'd want, um, you'd really want to put the flat two in there, because that's the, that's the different note, right? So you would rather do, instead of this, maybe you want to do this. Root, flat three, flat seven, you don't need the fifth really, and then the flat two. So that's a Phrygian chord. Same thing with A Aeolian. The Aeo Aeolian between that and Dorian is the six is different, right? Dorian is natural six, Aeolian is flat six, so you'd mm -hmm. want to include that. So instead of this chord, which was a Dorian chord, flat to six. And that's the sound of Aeolian. So you can, you're doing the same thing with this, and that's going to lead into the next part of this. So in, that A, in the Ionian mode, you have 1, 3, 5, 7, right? So um, what other major scale is very similar to the Ionian scale? Just thinking di diatonic, just normal scales. Uh, Dorian. Nope, that's minor. It's got to be another major scale. What's the closest? Aeolian top seven? No, no, just regular. So you have Ionian, Dorian, Phrygian, Lydian, Mixolydian, Lydian. Very good. And what's the note what that's different? Uh, the sharp four. Exactly. So if you really wanted to, that four would be the note that you would include. Um, so you could do like A major seven natural four, which might be something like. I 
I got the natural four there, the major third, sharp seven. And those are the three main, your one, three, and seven are the big ones. You don't need the fifth, really, unless it's one that's different. Between Phrygian and Locrian, that, the fifth would be the one that you would change. Because Locrian has a flat five, Phrygian has a natural five, and they both have a flat two, right? So, if you wanted to, A Aeolian, I mean A Ionian, and then A Lydian, it's just that one note. Lydian, Ionian. What, what voicing are you using there? So, check this out. You, you know this one, it's a, what is it, like a drop two. So, I'm doing five on the top, skipping the A, six, six, five. You remember that one? So I'm doing A on the top of my pointer on five, and then ring finger on the D string on six. Yep, pinky right behind that. And then your middle finger on five on the B string. So you're not playing the bottom E or the A. That, is that it? That's it. That's it. Yeah, there you go. There you go, yeah. You remember that one? That's a really good jazz voicing. It's a good, uh... Yeah, put the flat, the oh, sharp funky. four in there really quick, but flat to five, right? There you go. That's all I'm doing, exactly. Everything else stays the same. And then sharp four, Minus one again for the natural four, that's your Ionians. No, that's the only thing I'm, that's, that's all I'm doing. It's a little bit more of a stretch, but it's the same. Oh, now I'm doing my, I'm doing my middle finger on the top string. But the other, the, the two sixes are the, are the same finger. So I'm just swapping out my pointer for the middle on the five, on the top. And then I'm using my pointer to get that stretch on three on the B. Actually, I'm going to give you something easier. You don't even need that. Just do the open A. Yeah, so you just got A string zero. Then you just do that. It's so much easier. It would be the same fingers, so, but... You can even get the open E. That's your fifth. That's a nice chord, actually. I like that. That's interesting. But you wouldn't do... Actually, yeah. Would you do that with Lydian? Yeah, you would do it with Lydian as well. It's one of my favorite chords. Super vibey, dude. Huh. Yeah. Yeah, I could, I could go like 36 bars on that. Hell album. yeah, dude! <laughs> oh, Jesus. Play that chord. Oh, yeah, um, dude. Yeah, dude. I actually play that on After the Rain, the Coltrane tune. I do it with an open E, though. Oh, God. Yeah. Mess, mess with nice. that, man. That's a good one. Woo! Hell yeah. I, I can tell you put that one deep in your pocket. <laughs> dude, that's a, fucking, that's a great chord, man. So many vibes. So, we have those two. Play them for me again. So you have the Ionian. You can just keep the open A. That's cool. Lydian. And then you can do the just regular fifth. Doesn't matter. Actually, I want you to play the fifth as well. Which is just the five on the B. So I want you to do all three of them. So we'll <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to find out. Are you playing the B on... Um the fourth fret with the, with your G string. No, so the the D and the G are always going to be your middle finger and your pinky. Those are going to stay the same right there. Those aren't going to change. And the only change you're doing is you're with your pointer finger. For Ionian, you have the third fret on the B. For Lydian, you would have to bump it up one four. And then just for the five, regular five, you would put it to five. But see, those two are staying the same. Yeah, you did like a 
and let's... Yeah, there you go. Right, so... Okay, I got the sharp four, and then you're adding... Nope, not adding. Just take that sharp four note, and just drop it to the third fret for the Ionian sound. The natural that four. That lands on a D then. Right, exactly. Which is... Which is right. That's the fourth interval in the Ionian scale. Natural four. Natural four, yeah. Right. And you can add the bottom E oh, open if you want to. Yeah, that's a cool chord too though, actually. I like that. The Ionian, the natural four sounds weird. That's why we don't really play it. No, my I got this like little tiny uh you know, mini amp kept my guitar be like distortion. So oh, you getting a break up? You gotta get a, a Yamaha. One of my, I have a Yamaha. You can get it used for like two hundred bucks. It's one of the best amps. I actually prefer it over my thousand dollar jazz amp. Sometimes it sounds that good. I'll send you a link later. Yeah, Check I need it too damn bad. This stuff's like shit. Yeah, dude. No, you gotta get the Yamaha. It's really good and it's cheap. Weird. Try rolling off your tone knob. Or lowering your volume a little bit too. Yeah, there you go. You make it into a dissonant Brazilian rhythm too. <laughs> there you go. Okay, ready? So we have that. So, um, so Ionian, you would do this. Or just. Either three or five, they're both right. Um, and then, actually, I want you to do the five. Because a harmonic minor, we're going to sharp the five. Would you say? So on the uh, so you have Aeonian, I want you to do this one, just the regular major seven, no four, yeah. yeah, because a harmonic minor we have a sharp five, right? So all you have to do, everything stays the same, just sharp that five. So it's really just six six six. So it's basically an A chord, slide up four frets. You see that? So A. So you can also see it as a D flat chord over A. D flat major, but with an A in the bass. We have this A flat and A thing going on too. That's why you get that sound. Does that make sense? Yep. Yep. And if you put your bass note here, you can really see that's a good jazz chord. It's a major sharp five, major seven sharp five voicing. It's a pretty easy one. It's just a major triad, but with instead of like here or here, it would just be a half step away, which makes it sound like that. Works on both the A and the E, but. So you have that. So that's the sound of the harmonic minor mode, the Ionian sharp five mode. So what you would really do to practice it, you would play that chord and then immediately play the scale. So you'd go. It, it integrates the sound of the scale a lot better. Yeah. Good yeah. stuff. Yeah. Okay. Try that. So play the chord. And then play the scale. You had a sharp five. Yep. Right. Yeah. And that's a good way that you would practice that too, just for practice your soloing. Right? Yeah. So just, yeah. comp, just comp this, the chord. And then from that you can make 
other, you know, just take from the scale and you can make up your own voicings or whatever. Just keeping that. But the most important, well actually they're all important. You have the, the three, the seven, and that sharp five. Those are all very important to get the sound this right. Is exactly, this is exactly what I was talking about, like to help people practice, make things interesting. Yes. This is good stuff. Exactly, right? That's what I'm saying. So it goes deep. Yeah, and then I like I like the idea of like going backwards too. Like my teacher would say, like you know, work on playing all backwards. So yes. you play the chord and then you like descend, 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 descend. It's That's harder. It's cool. harder going backwards. Yeah, because you got to think more. You're thinking backwards, exactly. <laughs> it's like complete opposite, right? Yeah, yeah. But that's why I would play it down and then up, and then I would just try to trick my brain, and just just start from there. So I'd go. <laughs> get all that really down then you just try to just jam and do random I did a little trick there but you get the idea <laughs> no I like how like yeah it's you can exhaust the hell out of this anywhere on the guitar. And that's just one position too, so what I would really do is, in that bass note you have three different scale positions, right? So you have this one. And then you have the one we just did. And then you have the long one, which is this way. Oops. And you just keep going. I have to practice that a little bit more, but then, then you do the A string. Maybe just play the crap out of it everywhere you can, but that takes time. But that's the idea. Then you can just go all around. But this is the best position for it anyways you get. And then what I would also do with that same concept, you would jam and seamlessly go between the two. So you go between A Aeonian and A Aeonian sharp five. Maybe something like this. Can you send me a uh, just can you take a screenshot of that and like send it to me so I have it to practice? Sure. I can do it myself. But, uh, I'll send you, I can actually export it as a uh, PDF. Yeah, we should have a follow-up session like two weeks. And yeah, sure I'm, whenever, whenever you want to, I love this stuff. And it helps me to go deeper because, you know, yeah. I've, I actually haven't practiced this stuff in a while. It's still like kind of fresh, but, you know, it, it helps me too. That's why I love teaching, man. All right, Eric, lesson one modes. All right, let's see if I can send this to you right now. Okay. I wish the jazz scene out there anyway, Nashville. Pretty much non existent. Hmm. Yeah, it's, there's some very small spots, and a lot of people can play jazz, but there's no, no one wants to hear it. No one wants to hear any shows. Sometimes you'll, the closest you'll get is fusion, like jazz fusion stuff. Like um, Greg Howe comes along, and uh, uh, there's a couple other guys that are pretty big that come by, but it's not very big at all. People, the people want to be entertained, you know. Yeah. They don't really find jazz too entertaining and yeah, stuff. Yeah, it's in the arts, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Let me know if you got that, if I send it to the right place. Where'd you send it to? It should be in the chat box on the, on this. Uh, chat. It should be a file. Yeah, you can just, you can send it to my email that you have. All right, let me do that. Tunnel. 
Yeah, man. How was, the weather yesterday was beautiful. 85. They got like a tanner, dude. Really? There you go. I know. I've been getting some color, too. It's, it's been like 90 here. It's crazy. I'm like, what? Yeah, I, I can burn quick. Summer's here, dude. I love it. Finally. But it's going to be... Here, it's going to be like kind of scattered, cloudy, and rainy, and stormy all week. But... All right, I just sent that to your email. So let's finish this up. So we have where I was going next. I'm trying to jam over something here. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So, hold on. All right, there you go. All right, so try, I want you to try to do this, all right? So we did, um, and you can, I, I would also get a backing track on YouTube and do the same thing with the actual backing tracks. It'll help you to hear it better with the harmony and stuff. But if you're just playing on your own, which is the jazz way, right? So you would do that. So you would do Aeolian. <laughs> back and forth as many times as you want. But you would also, without even without the chords, you should still be able to hear the difference. So if you're just in without breaks, try to do that too. So seamlessly go between the two and see if you can hear that you, you will be able to hear the difference. So Try that. So, first you play the Ionian, play the chord. And the next one. I would loop that at least twice. Try so try that. Loop that at least twice. Same same uh, deal. Okay. I see you. We don't have a measure on it, so like, I'm like, I don't know how many measures I'm going for. I'm like, that, that's all right. You would practice with a metronome, that, with the backing track would be your metronome as well. But for now, just, you get the idea. Yeah, so... So you do a regular sharp, Ionian first like you sharp, did, uh, and then you go sharp, uh, and play the chord, right, yep. Right, and then you play, play around with the scale. Uh, flat six. Well, j just stay on that first. But you would go and do the others, but just stay on Ionian harmonic minor for now. Ionian sharp sharp five. Yeah, J just go between those two for now. Yeah, there you go. myself to like go forward Ionian major backward uh, right. Ionian sharp five from our no you're you're ripping dude yeah that's pretty sick and then I tried and those uh, what is it those intervals I've been practicing again like I'm getting better at it but the whole like right uh, oh like the wide interval jumps going in like thirds and you know what I mean or is it right yeah thirds all of that is good to practice, right? Right, yeah, there you go. And there's another concept that goes along with that, but I'm not going to get into that right now. That'll be a little too much. But, so, um, uh, what was I going to say? So you have... Uh, crap, I was going to say something. Crap, forgot it! No! I totally forgot! Anyways, it'll come back to me. So, you would do that... Huh? Were you trying to think through? I'm try I forget. I had something, but that's all right. It'll come back. So you would do that just like that. You could also just do it to j just a metronome. And you also, I would recommend going on YouTube 
to put in a backing track. For Ionian, it's easy enough. Just type in A major backing track, jazz style, whatever you want. And then um, maybe, maybe you would search a Ionian harmonic minor backing track or Ionian sharp 5 backing track. Maybe it'll come up. Um, something like that. That might, that might work. Um, yeah. So practice all of that. And then you would... Uh, I started doing that. It's going to take me a while to, for, to finish it because there's so much that I just want to get in, but maybe what I'm going to have to try to decide on is just do like like modules, right? So break it up and then at the end, maybe just compile it at the end. Yeah. You know, um, but I, I have started doing that. I have a bunch of tab sheets and I would, I would do the videos with them as well. So it would be videos and supplemental PDFs of tabs and sheet music. So yeah, and, and I've done a lot that's already pretty comprehensive. And you do it, you do it to a point where it's your cliff, and it's like people are like, "Oh no, I want to learn more." Oh, yeah, exactly. pay now or yeah that, you're right. Yeah, that's a good idea, right? Give them a little taste and be like, "You want more? Well, yeah. <laughs> funny enough, but for the right price, there's your name for you." So let's see. Rock. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. I want to go one more step with this. Uh, Ionian, Ionian sharp five. So we did the chords, we did the modes. I mean the, the scales up and down. Crap. What else was I going to do? I mean you could also you would do this for all the other ones as well. And I would do it all reverting back to the Ionian. So you do Ionian and then Ionian flat six. Then you do Ionian and then flat three. And then at the end, then you can just go go down the list, right? So let me try. It. Let's just try going through it quick, like yeah. in uh, improv. I'll play the chords first. Go, cool. go for it. So, which one do you want to start with? Uh, start, you know, top A major, right? And I'm gonna do. Oh, the just, just, just read it down. All right, cool. Okay. Uh, it's blurred out something because that case I don't hear. Sometimes the audio cuts out, so blurred out something when you change. So I know. Okay. I'll just say like, like sharp five and then flat six. Perfect. Then, perfect. Uh, flat three. Sharp five. Yep. Flat six sharp. Uh, for Locrian flat six. I was actually gonna say, yeah. What do you think about that? There's a little something special with this one. I only need sharp five. So sharp five and flat six. What's the relate? What what's the relationship there? Look at the notes. So A on sharp five. One, two, three, four, one, two, five. Three, four, five. It's, it's an F. E it's an F, right? Flat six. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's also an F. And the flat the flat six, one, two, three, four, five, six, it's an F. They're both Fs.